There's goal setting that we do at the beginning of every month. The generalists and AC sit down with their, with their student and talk about their grad plan or their year plan and then start to break down into, okay, what is your specific focus credit and then what can I do today to do that? So um, trying to sort of zoom out and give that big picture helps you zoom in and realize why, I, why it's important that I'm moving through the, through the curriculum. I feel like he says that people have been moving slow in the class, but I think it's just a matter of people moving slow. Like, I think you can go in and do what you do with Persai, how you went in and just took a bunch of tasks home and, like, banked that credit out. Yeah. I think you can do the same thing with Earth Science. It's just that you got to make sure you get all the labs in. Because when he came into the room, I did three tasks with him in 30 minutes. So yeah, exactly. Like, so you can get through it fast. The biggest thing saying. is the labs. You got to make sure you have the labs. You don't have the labs, you can take yeah. the tasks, you can take the tasks, you can take the regions. So regarding conferencing, I keep a list of, of my students who are in my class, and I try and conference with them um, as often as possible, certainly at least once a month, to s help them set goals for the month, which are normally geared around a, a year-end goal, which we establish very early on. If they started in September, that's in September, or in their first week whenever they first started school. And then we sort of break down where they want to be by the end of the school year by month. Does that mean one credit a month or a, a credit and a half per month? Um, so we talk about the conferencing is centered around how are you doing in that class, what are some of the challenges you're facing, um, and what are some of the ways that not just me as your generalist, I can support you, but also how can your advocate counselor support you, or if it's in a class with a specialist teacher, um, what are some ways that you feel like that, that specialist could be supporting you better as well. Um, and we try and do that at least once a month. Now, if it's a student who's got trouble with um, coming to school frequently, so someone who's got an attendance issue, uh, we, might, we might target them right as soon as they arrive if we don't see them that often, and just kind of keep it positive, like, hey, we've missed you. Um, we want you to feel like a valuable part of this class, and we want you to feel like you want to come to school. Is there anything more that we could be doing to get you in? Um, and, and try and build on their strengths so they feel like they're, they want to be here and they're a part of the group as well.